Hello, today I'm going to re review uh, Mossberg Maverick 88. It is a special, the special purpose edition, right there. Um, basically, it's a uh, probably the best value in home defense you're going to get. It's a 12 gauge. I bought it at Academy for $189. Uh, which I think is just an excellent value for this weapon. Um, what else about this is uh, it's got an 18 and a half inch barrel, uh, a blued finish, black synthetic stock. Um, uh, the choke is cylinder bore. Chamber size, uh, it'll chamber up to three inch shells. Uh, empty weight is seven pounds. It'll hold up to six shells uh, in total. Uh, I'm not sure about three inches, but two and, a, two and three eighths, no problem at all, six shells. Um, and it's got aluminum res receiver on it. It's got a lot of great features to it, which I'm going to point out uh, in this review. Okay, when you get your Mossberg Maverick 88 out of uh, the box, these are the things you're going to find inside. Um, you're going to find a owner's manual which is uh, really nice. Actually, it takes, uh, it shows you how to dis, uh, disassemble the system, how to safety it, how to maintenance it. And uh, it's quite uh, comprehensive, actually. So the manual is actually uh, a, a good thing to have and a good thing to keep, uh, surprisingly so. Usually these things are, you know, from what I can see, not worth much. Um, you get a trigger lock. Uh, standard trigger lock it will work great or gun, I should say gun lock and uh, you know keyed just fine you also get you'll get the shotgun and the barrel taken apart like it is right there it's it basically makes it smaller inside the box you don't have to ship as big a box so I'll uh, oh and one more thing you you'll get that you do, you won't know about it's this this is the dowling that's inside the magazine, uh, which stops you from putting any more than two shells in it. I made a video on how to get that dowling out of the uh, gun, so you know I'm not going to show you that here. So I'm just going to assemble it for you and uh, show you its full length. It's pretty simple. Um, basically, slide the barrel in. Make sure it's nice. It's got a, a notchy feel to the uh, uh, barrel lock on the front here. Um, so it's just finger tight. And just so you know, there is a little space between the magazine and the actual collar on the barrel. It's, uh, it's supposed to be there. The manual says it's supposed to be there. It's uh, 0.032 on my feeler gauge. So that's normal. Um, Continue on with this. Let's see. The total ammunition capacity, including one in the chamber, is six shells. Um, two, uh, if you're using two inch uh, and three quarter shells, depending on the am ammunition to tolerances and variations, total capacity may be reduced by one round when using three inch shells. So it's either six or five, depending on what shells you're using. Basically, a beautiful gun uh, and a great value. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going to show you the barrel just so you can see what it's like. Oh, first of all, sorry guys. I'm going to measure the length of the gun for you so you know how long it is. But to the end of the barrel, approximately 38 and a half inches so it's a pretty short gun um, shotgun I take the barrel out so you can see it more closely okay there we go uh, as you can see it's let's see if you can show you the inside here can't get Good view on that. Hard to do. Here, hold on. Get a light on that so you can see it. 
inside it's smooth pour. Put it on this side now. There we go. So you can see. Um, it's an 18 and a half inch barrel with a uh, cylinder bore choke, which is basically the, the choke is the cylinder. Uh, now that I got the barrel off, I can easily show you the internals. Okay. And as you can see right there, the extractor has one little flat head standard screw holding it in. So if you break it, it's it's a no-brainer to change it. Just unscrew that, put a new one in, and you're off to the races. Nothing special or fancy to, to, to replace that. So that makes it a you know easily serviceable part. Um, now we're looking down here and we see that. Let's see if I can get a closer look for you. Dual extractors, one and two, right? Um, as I said, the ejector, one screw to hold holding it in. Uh, easily serviceable. I like the dual extractors because hey, two is better than one. Okay, so that's uh, another nice feature on the gun. Now, there's something else you need to know about these is that the forend is basically a, a, a permanently uh, affixed to these bars. Okay, it doesn't have a, a slide tube inside it. So you can see it. There it is, see? So if you're going to go with Mossberg parts, uh, Mossberg and forend, you're going to have to change that as well. Okay, so, you know, uh, now I've heard a few complaints about a little bit of wiggle on that. I mean, who cares? This is a shotgun. It's not a sniper rifle, okay? Um, you know, for the purposes that I'm going to use it for, which is home defense, it's not an issue. This is, uh, of course, this is an aluminum receiver. As you can see, it's a Model 88 12 gauge. And it's a Mossberg, sorry, Maverick 88 Mossberg. Um, trigger guard. If you can see the trigger guard, it's made out of plastic. Okay, it's pretty hard plastic, but it's still plastic. Trigger's a, a metal trigger as well. Safety's right here on the trigger guard. As you can see, red, they're dead. Um, Basic, a lot of people complain that on the Mossberg 500, it's a tab up here and it's more handy because when you're holding it, it's, you know, it's like this and it's easy. But if you put a pistol grip on this thing, where would you rather have the, the uh, safety? Up here or right here? I'm going for right here. Either way, you know, if you're going to use this weapon and you're, you're, you're ready to use this weapon, the first thing you do is pick it up and, and uh, hit the, the uh, safety anyway. All right? If I hear something rumbling around in my house and I pick up this weapon, the first thing I'm going to do is take the safety off. That's just habit. Sorry. Boom. Safety off. I'm ready to shoot. Okay. Um, the slide release right here behind the trigger, which is handy when you're holding the gun because it's just really easy to get your finger on it to do that way. And it's, as you can see, easily, easily done. Another nice thing, um, when you're loading the magazine, there's no gate stopping you here from putting the uh, rounds in. Um, other shotguns I've seen have a gate that slide over there that can put, uh, pinch your finger and so on. As you can see, on this gun, that's it. Move it forward and it's in. All right. So loading it is a joke. Okay. Uh, Let's put this back on here. Oh, I forgot. There we go. Works a lot better that way. Okay. So there's the full gun. Uh, there's a lot of aftermarket accessories for the gun, so, you know, that will fit the... Uh, 500 as well as this gun, right? But as I said, this is different and the safety is different on this gun. Otherwise, I think they're pretty well um, similar. Okay, so this is synthetic forend, synthetic buttstock, you know, 
It's a basic buttstock. It doesn't have a swivel on it, but if you look carefully at, at it, you'll see that right there is a space to put a swivel on it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a swivel stud in there. Um, also, if you note on the uh, lock screw right there, magazine, it's got a threaded hole in it, so you could put a, a swivel stud in that as well. So it's ready, ready for the equipment. Plus, you'll see that you have a good inch or more in, on this uh, section of the gun to load a rail if you want to. Um, there are aftermar a lot of aftermarket parts for this gun, so that's not an issue. Basically, that's, that's an overview on the whole gun. Um, I'm very happy with it. I think it's a great value. It's made in, in, in America. Uh, it's here in Texas, actually. Uh, I think it's Eagle Pass. Um, and if you want a basic home defense gun, 12 gauge, hey, <laughs> this will kill the zombies as well as any other gun will, okay? Uh, or the bad guys. It's, uh, it's simple, it's reliable, it's easily service serviceable. Uh, it's a, a 12 ga gauge pump home defense shotgun. It can chamber and fire up to three inch shells, so it can pack, it, you know, it, it definitely packs a punch. Uh, it, can, it costs less than 200 bucks, which is amazing. Um, for, and for the most part, it's compatible with the Mossberg 500 parts. And, uh, you know, 10 out of 10 zombies hate it. Well, thanks a lot for watching.